Our objective is the MSR on the north side. We're seizing it ahead of RCT-1's assault through the city. It's the only way out of town. We're the blocking force. I know this looks like some Black Hawk Down shit we're doing, but we'll be the ones initiating contact. Most people in America right now probably think of Iraq as a dangerous country. Now, if I were to stand up, I might get killed. But to us, behind this wheel, it's pretty safe. <laughs> so to us, Iraq is a safe country, right here. I feel pretty safe. Do you feel safe? <laughs> pretty safe, I guess. See? It's all relative. What the fuck is going on here? You weren't on your comms. Calling in a fire mission. Sir, I don't like this. These two get their fucking heads together. It's fucking dangerous. It's the oldest play in the book. Officers calling in danger close fire missions to get medals. Lieutenant Fink, you need to square these shitbirds away. You need to NJP that man. Sir, tell me exactly what you're doing. I'm calling in a fire mission on a hunter-killer RPG team. There is no RPG team. I called it in. My men destroyed it. Lieutenant, it doesn't matter if we're right or wrong. You and your men can't disobey orders. An officer who does needs to be relieved of his command. Sir, I'm merely trying to pass you accurate information. There is no hunter-killer RPG team. What is your order, sir? I'm calling in a fire mission at Papa Quebec 059-098-038 degrees, 200 meters. Aye, aye, sir. Steel rain. Steel rain. This is Hitman. Fire mission. Over. The three wise men. You must have traveled far. Our platoon commander's on watch. How fucking righteous is that? I see the three of you coming together. I get thinking there's some kind of problem. Oh, no, Gunny, nothing like that. Well, we're just concerned about this thing with the LT and the captain. Word is he and Casey Kasem are going after the LT for grabbing the radio out of his hand when he's trying to call in danger close artillery on a bullshit target. And, well, sir, we just want to say that if it comes to the CO charging you with insubordination, Shut the fuck up and do your fucking jobs. Whatever happens between Captain Schwetchy and myself is none of your fucking business. America's unprofessional. If you have a nickname for an officer, I don't want to know it. Is everyone on your team getting some shut-eye? Since they brought us pizza at Matilda, my whole team hasn't slept. It's what, 30 hours now? Oh, we don't know what's coming. You gotta rotate guys, get up some sleep. He's just a boy, and I'm just a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? We are in love, haven't you heard? Now we rock each other's world. Hold your fire. No, Saddam. No, Saddam. No, no. Looks like you won some hearts and minds, sir. And some tongue. Bizarre. All of them driving in and out of the city like it's normal. Yeah. Hitman actual to Hitman 2? Hitman 2 actual. Hey, uh, Godfather's saying it's time for us to be more aggressive. More aggressive? Godfather says it's time for us to increase our presence. So we're given the level of disorder in the city at this time, and given our lack of a cohesive mission, I'm gonna have my men remain in a defensive position until dawn, when we'll move on the park. Negative. Godfather. Hitman, having assessed the situation from close observation, I'm gonna keep my men in a defensive posture until dawn. How copy? Hitman 2, I say again. They want me to be more aggressive. Send the men into this. For what? 
so I can come home with 21 minutes instead of 22? For what?